Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to take a look at building this fan mount for the Mount of Price Select Mini. So, uh, one of my viewers had uh, written in and mentioned that this was a pretty cool, pardon the pun, build. So I decided to take a look at it, and um, I think it made a lot of sense. So uh, I went ahead and, and decided to, to build it. But one of the things when I went and did this, uh, as I look through this, this is designed for a 40 millimeter fan. So I've got a whole bunch of 50s around, and hey, 50 is always better than 40, right? So I decided to do a remix of this. And uh, so what I did is I brought it into Tinkercad and I made some modifications to it and we'll take a look at this in a little bit but uh, one of the things I just kind of wanted to show is sort of the origins of this and uh, uh, how to install it so uh, in Tinkercad what I did do is if I find Tinkercad again up here so I created a model up here of the, the rough fan opening and then I added it in and did some subtraction and some kind of fancy things. Uh, the other thing that I decided to do, and we'll take a little bit closer look at this, because uh, uh, I printed out several of these, is I decided to build one w without stanchions, sort of in the same uh, light as the other one, and one with stanchions. And so uh, we'll take a little bit closer look at those when we print them out. So let's head over to the bench and take a look. Okay, welcome back. So in the computer, we looked at the base object on Thingiverse, which is this one here. So I had printed this one out. Again, this one's designed for a 40 millimeter fan. And what I wanted to do was upgrade it to a 50. So I came out with this design and just bumped it out to a 50 and realigned the holes. However, I got thinking, you know, geez, what if, uh, you know, we, we did away with the stanchions. So I designed another one with the stanchions. And I actually started to assemble with, uh, with this one. However, um, I, again, this one matches the, if I can pick up the base one and not bump the, the mic here. So, so this, is, this is the same size, but one of the things that I discovered in this is that when I put it on, it was bending like this because of the distance in the board. So I don't know, maybe my board is slightly different. So what I did is I mixed, uh, changed it up a little bit and did this one, um, which adjusts these in just a little bit to avoid some of that springiness because I'd actually rather it spring outward rather than upward like that. So I printed out another one. Um, actually, these were done on Fabricator Mini before I took it apart, but since I got it apart, I had to do this one on the Wanhow. Now, one of the things, if you look at, um, it, it, clearly the the fab, the uh, sorry the um, Select Mini does did a far better job on these these tubes. Um, so I mean, it'll work, but wow, I tell you what, I've just been really impressed with the how how well this one prints the uh, Monoprice Select Mini versus uh, all my other printers. So very happy with that. Um, Matter of fact, I'd love to get a bigger version that does uh, does as well. So anyways, uh, let's hop over and take a look at uh, assembling this actually on the machine. Okay, here we've installed this in the, um, I want to call it Fabricator Mini, uh, in the Monoprice Mini Select. So what I did is I removed the six screws in the base, removed the base, and I also removed this uh, jumper which plugs in the back side here because it just simply made too much pull to um, uh, get at things. So I also placed it like this, so the, the it's placed a long way with the board this way, which made it easier to get. I unbolted the four bolts, um, just kind of short some short M3s in here, removed the board, and then what I did is here we have the um, uh, power supply, and you notice it just kind of clears the power supply down here, the power supply lines. And what I did is I soldered the fan to the two leads down here to the, to the positive and negative. So make sure you get that right now. What I'll do is I'll put an overlay here of what it looks like down there. So again, it's just a simple solder job. Now what I used are um, three 20 millimeter M3s to attach this to the board to replace it. I reused the lock washers that came on the original and then I used an original back here for the mount. On the fan itself, I used um, two number two screws with nuts to hold this down um, because they were a little bit proud. I pointed them up rather than down to make sure I cleared down here on the bottom so everything seems to be okay. So, in general, um, 
this has come out pretty good. So the only thing really left for me to do is kind of uh, test it out and button it up. Okay, so here I've uh, powered everything up. The fan's running. Now one of the things um, that I might actually do is put a cover on here. I have to watch the wires as I put this back together so you don't get the wires in the fan. Um, the way it orientates is the board will go up this way. Let me tilt the camera up a little bit. So the board will go up here so it enters this open space. So I should be okay with the wires. Uh, I'll see. Uh, it's actually pretty quiet. Um, so happy with that. Uh, it is moving a lot of air. I've got I've got the fan blowing down on the board, so it's sucking air from the top, blowing it down. One of the things maybe in the future that I'll do is add another fan here to bring air into the case. But right now, with, because of the 50 millimeter size, this is moving a pretty good amount of air. So again, pretty happy with the design. Um, and I'll put the the link the Thingiverse will be down below for both this model as well as the um, uh, one without the stanchions. So you can. If you want to use the metal stanchions as in the original design, that's great. If you want to use this version, that's great. Um, so pretty easy to do, and I think uh, we'll add some uh, life to this uh, Monoprice Mini and kind of keep the ramps cool, and uh, especially for longer prints. So hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, hey, give it a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget, holidays are coming. You know, take a look at our swag shop in the corner, and also don't forget to uh, subscribe so you kept up to date on the um, latest videos that we put out. So. See you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.